Hi, I'm Fang Kai Yang. This is a presentation of our paper SNAP, Reliable and Low-Cost Computing with a Mixture of Spot and On-Demand VMs. This is a joint work between Microsoft Research and Microsoft Azure. Let's first talk about the Spot VMs. In Microsoft Azure, there's unused capacity due to surface heating, recovery, and planned capacity growth. Spot VMs are there to harvest this unused capacity. They can be effective mainly because of new deployment from on-demand VMs. They are offered at a significantly lower price compared to on-demand VMs. In, ex in exchange for free low SLOs, they can be fitted with 30 seconds notice when that capacity is needed back. So it is suitable for different types of applications, in particular for workloads that can sustain or recover from interruptions. Um, the purpose of our paper is to design mixture of VM scaling groups, and uh, um, in this presentation, we could call it uh, VMSG for short, uh, which offers higher availability compared with pure spot VMSG and a lower cost compared with pure on demand VMSG. The mixture of VMSG could uh, offer provision spot VMs or replace spot VMs with on demand VMs in order to maintain a certain number of in surface VMs in VMSG to achieve higher availability. Um, here we show some selected empirical studies in order to demonstrate the characteristics of spot VMs in Azure. Uh, spot VMs, um, around 55% of the fitted spot VMs live longer than one hour. And the spot VMs with larger cores have a shorter lifetime in general, which matches our expectation. Um, it is because when on-demand VMs need capacity back, uh, nodes with um, larger spot VMs are more likely to be tightly packed with uh, free less remaining empty uh, capacity, and this will result in evictions. And for the image on the right, we define two metrics to evaluate the status of the machine nodes. The first one is spotiness, uh, which evaluates the percentage of the spot cores in the nodes. And the second one is the stableness, which defines as the variation of remaining core over time. So spot winds intend to have lower efficient risks if located in nodes with higher spotiness and stableness. The region level event rates shows a temporal pattern that it is higher on peak hours. As the image to the left, um, the efficient rates is always high in working days and working hours. And the efficient rate is also has connections with um, the resource utilization and also the deployments of on-demand VMs. Like if we have a lot of on-demand VMs, the efficient rates will be high. And also if we have like a very high resource utilizations, the efficient rates, uh, the efficient rates also comes high. The methodology we have is we are treated by a dynamic change, the number of on-demand VMs and the spot VMs concerning the spot efficient prediction and the VMSG status. For example, if the efficient rate is predicted to be high in the future, we could make decisions of adding more spot VMs or replace some spot VMs with on-demand VMs. Um, before we get into the details of a framework, we need to define our targets, which is the VMSG SLO. So the SLO measures the surface quality from the, pers uh, from the perspective of users we provide a, a definition of VMSG SLOs based on the availability of in-surface VMs. So it's basically defined by uh, the time of in-surface VMs over the total time of the uh, VMs, which also include uh, the loading time. So the VMSG is defined as the availability should be larger than the target availability defined by the user. Uh, for example, like uh, uh, three nines. This is the overview of Snape. It can manage multiple VMSGs simultaneously. It contains five modules. The SLO monitor offsets the availability of each VMSG and checks if SLO is violated. The feature extractor gets features from the cross system in the global and the local aspects. The global features are fed into the efficient predictor to predict the region level efficient rates in the next time steps. The global prediction is long term and trained on long historical data. It can act as guidance 
in a constrained reinforcement learning decision maker to avoid the myopic policy and accelerates learning with efficiency. Finally, the plan is executed to add or remove spot or on-demand VMs. We use constrained reinforcement learning to make decisions while an agent takes actions to maximize rewards with respect to two constraints as shown on the left. The first constraint is a cumulative constraint where the SLO of VMG should not be violated from the start time to the current time. The second constraint is the instantaneous constraint, which constrains the number of in-service VMs should not drop under a certain value. We use an actor-critic framework to train a reinforcement learning agent, and we have a safety layer at the end to filter out bad actions. In this paper, we adopt uh, uh, six baselines. The first one is pure on-demand VMSG. Uh, second one is pure spot VMSG. It is note that uh, uh, this pure spot VMSG uses auto restoration. That uh, when uh, spot VMs get uh, effected, uh, we enable this auto restorations. Um, but uh, there's no guarantee uh, this, auto, uh, this auto restoration will be success, especially uh, in peak hours. And the third one is called uh, over provision spot VM uh, uh, spot uh, VMSG. Uh, it uh, awfully adds spot VMs in order to replenish uh, effective VMs ahead of time based on the efficient prediction. And the fourth one is called a uh, static mixture ratio. It uh, maintains a static uh, spot uh, versus on demand mixture ratio in a VMSG with auto restoration similar uh, in uh, the over provision spot VMSG. And uh, the fifth one is called uh, O2 Spotting. Uh, it has a uh, target number of on-demand VMs, and it can require spot VMs to replace on-demand VMs if there's spot uh, capacity, of, uh, capacity available. And uh, the last one is called uh, Prediction-Based uh, Optimization. It basically solves uh, uh, integer linear programming problem to give some mixture plan, giving the predicted uh, region level efficient rates. We evaluate SNAP with its competitor baselines through experiments in Azure with two metrics, a VM cost and uh, the availability of VMSG. The total VM cost is normalized uh, to per VM cost in one hour. The pure spot VMSG has the lowest uh, availability as the auto restoration does not always succeed, especially during peak hours. The static mixture ratio VMSG with different spot VM ratios shows um, cascading behaviors in cost and availability, and the cascading change is linear in cost, but it is not in availability. Uh, with a large ratio of spot VMs, the availability drops dramatically with large variations. Uh, the OS uh, VMSG offer proficient spots VMs based on the efficient prediction, with around 0.4 percentage higher availability than the pure spot VM uh, uh, than the pure spot VMSG but uh, the variations is also very large. The O2 spotting VMSG manages to leverage on-demand VMs for time period with high efficiency and use spot VMs for the rest. It is reasonable as requiring a spot capacity in high efficient time and peak hours that does not always succeed and it forces uh, the O2 spotting to use on-demand VMs. The optimization VMSG benefits from the efficient predictions to make optimal decisions but uh, the SLO is not achieved yet because there is some discrep uh, discrepancy between region level efficient prediction and the local VMS3 efficiency. And our method, uh, SNAP, of a proficient spot VMS when the efficiency is, is estimated to be low. And when the efficiency is, is estimated to be high and lasts for a while, our method SNAP replaces spot VMS with on demand VMS. To demonstrate the reason behind SNAP's performance of baselines, we dive deeper into case studies. The first observation is over proficient with discard. Uh, Snape adds, stop, adds spot VMs ahead of time before efficiency. It proactively discards some spot VMs after over proficient rather than waiting for efficiency. The table shows that uh, nodes hosting existing spot VMs, what we call the lucky nodes, have higher spotness, uh, which means mostly located with other spot VMs and uh, higher uh, stableness. The nodes that host the discarded spot VMs, what we call the tragic nodes, are lower than both two metrics. Uh, SNAP uses this strategy to replace spot VMs on lucky nodes implicitly. 
The second observation is Snape leverages the region level efficient prediction guidance. Uh, in the left figure, the on-demand VMs are used during the time period of high efficiency, and they are removed when future efficiency is estimated to be low. The estimated efficiency is consistent with the ground truth efficient rates. And in contrast, as, the, as illustrated in the right figure, Snape without prediction guidance acts in a myopic manner by not keeping on-demand VMs for high efficient time, it instead of a proficient spot VMs that results in SLO variations. The third observation is Snape learns to estimate the VMs G efficiency leveraging the local VMs G information. It's because there's a discrepancy between the region level efficient prediction and the local VMs G efficiency. Only relying on the region level efficient prediction results in ignoring the risk of efficiency in the VMs G. This discrepancy makes uh, uh, OS not uh, offer proficient enough VMs that results in SLO variations as the pictures show to the right. And the similar trouble happens in the OPT uh, baselines, which only leverages the region level prediction to optimize policy but ignores the local features. This discrepancy makes the unexpected efficiency for both OPT and the SLO variations and it tends to use on-demand wins for the rest of time in order to get a high availability when the one-month time window is reached. Thank you, and I'm here for any questions.